This personal trainer comes across as knowledgeable, professional, and clients like him. He's a good guy. You wouldn't guess that he made a life in and out of jail and as a member of one of Boston's most violent gangs. I was basically stuck in the streets, you know, basically living life day by day, you know, worried about if I'm going to make it tomorrow, you know, trying to protect myself from danger, you know, things like that. When T.Y. Green was shot in a gang fight, another young man reached out. John Feynman hoped to change the 21-year-old's course. He's the first person to come see me in the hospital bed. He's actually one that told me, like, yeah, we got to make something. We got to make a change. We definitely got to make a change. I don't want to see, see this happen to you again and stuff like that. I know you got good potential. The young people we work with primarily are, are um, young people the police have labeled as the high-impact players in the streets of Boston. So Dorchester, Mapan, Roxbury is where most of our students are, are living. Um, the young people, again, have been labeled as the most likely to shoot someone or get shot. So these aren't the guys that are kind of loosely affiliated. They're heavily involved in the streets, and most of them have been shot before, all except for a couple have done significant jail time. The students train here, inner city weightlifting in Dorchester, a gym like no other. We can't even show you too much of the building because revealing the location could compromise the safety of its regulars, whose ties to gang violence are still fresh. So when kids come in here, they can uh, try to start college or they can uh, go for jobs. Even a lot of our clients know how, you know, have friends that own restaurants, own business establishments, some of them own establishments themselves and can give that option. You know what I'm saying? So here it is, this kid was just selling crap every day, all day, all night, living by the gun, dying by the gun. Now he has a job and now he's headed on a path to take care of himself, take care of his, uh, 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 the mother of his child. Inner city weightlifting redefines the idea of getting stronger. And it's not just a haven for those escaping gang violence. The concept is breaking down social barriers. The aspiring trainers, most of whom are making an honest living for the first time, work with Boston's white collar types. It, it ends up becoming this value proposition that once you get to know our guys, it becomes a no-brainer that you can get a workout at a quarter of the price that would otherwise cost and you can actually save someone's life at the same time by creating hope. Hope may have saved T.Y. Green's life. He's left the gangs behind. He's taking college courses with an eye on a business degree. And he's trying to be a better father, a better man. I grew up without a mother or father, like none of my fit, none of my family. My family was the streets, you know? So for another person outside the streets, like, I got your back, I got your back, and really been st sticking, since, sticking since me since day one, like, that really means a lot. Like, that drives me to do better, like, to do positive things.